Hello guys, we're at Eastley tonight, fishing for rays or whatever, scratching about on one rod, fishing for rays on the other. There's Mr Ward, fishing, getting his box, wants to sit next to me because he loves me. Um, yeah, tonight we're using a Continental uh, Vega Masami, fishing closer in, scratching rig, and an up and over on my big rod for sand hill. Sam's using the similar setups, but with fixed balls. I'm using the one fixed ball, one mark fly. There's his box. Um, there's a few other anglers down the beach as you can see quite close to us but I wanted to get in this little spot we know here. Had a few rays and that here, so yeah. We'll let you know when we get on. Just getting a few bites, thought I'd show you. We've had a few whiting already. Um, just getting a few little taps. He's up much. It ain't gonna go now, is it? It was going. Nah, no, I was going before you come over. There we go, you go. Small tap, probably white and maybe a flat eel thing. Bigger rod ain't going, what I can see you. Let's see if Sam's rods are going. Yeah, I think Sam put a couple of bites up there. Yeah, definitely a few bites. You got a bite machine. Mm -hmm. Food. Eating my lovely Audi sponsored gummy mix. But yeah, hopefully we can get something other than white in. The other night we had a few bass in that down here as well. Oh, here he is, professional. You're reading on camera there, Mush? No, there's nothing on there. Oh, all right. Well, we'll get back to you if we get anything. Well, we'll show you a few white in, but not many. All right, guys, I think it's my third chuck now. I've had a white in every chuck. A um, couple of double shots is my first treble shot of the night. Um, on now, I think. I'll bring you back. Sam's bringing in his scratching rig, which is a running wishbone. Load of rock to this side. That's it. Probably going to be some whiting or something on there. Like that. As you can see, he's really experienced. Um, yeah, worm and squid on there, I believe. Worm tip of squid tentacle. Yeah, there's a few couple of white in. Or one. Let me take you down. Yeah, as you can see, there's a little white in on his running rig. Yeah. It's a small one. So, yeah, I'll bring you back if you get anything else. Got a little ting or something playing around on there, I think. Just walked over and see a little bite. Ain't playing around, it's quite a light little rod that one. Big bait's gone a little bit on the old slack side to be fair, so I might have a little look at that. Maybe five minutes, if you guys any slack, I'll lift into that. Got a pretty small sand on there, open for like a ray, like an undulate form back spotted, something like that around here. Yeah, I believe there's something playing around that one. I haven't seen it go for a couple of seconds now, I think. What we saying there? Give it a little bit of movement. It's always good to move your baits. Just leave it slack like that. See if it fish picks up a bit of tension. Uh, where there's not much tension in the line, fish can't feel it as much either. All right, guys, we're still getting loads of white in double shots, treble shots, every chuck. The odd single. Um, when we go a bit closer in. But it's, it's low tide and there's not much depth to be fair if you're fishing closer in. You will get fish here, but it's a bit dead and where it's been cold lately. The frost is um, getting on the uh, ground and sand. And the fish tend to not come in closer because um, it's exposed to ice or whatever sand. So, yeah. uh, except for the occasional flatfish, but here we don't get too many flatfish, I'm honest. Get your plate off flounder or dab or whatever. But, yeah. Um, not really much to show you, so hopefully you'll see this video. But if not, well, if you deleted it, but I'll keep coming out. But there's nothing really to show you other than the odd white and the odd bass. So I'm gonna try and get one up just to show you. But yeah, not looking great. I'll show you a look, give you a look around. Sam's just baiting off over there. Um, 
all I've all I've seen caught is whiting. So yeah. All I've heard being caught is whiting. It's just that time of year, February. Crap time of year to be fair, change over period. Whiting start thinning out in the ground. Um and then you get your March, which goes really dead in April, a few bits, different bits start turning up sometimes, depending on weather conditions. Um, green down there. But yeah. We'll see what he's got, but if he's waiting, but really he can't see him actually. Oh, got a little bite there. A little bite on camera, I think. Probably tings. Ting after ting. Yeah. Hopefully we can get something different. I'm hoping for a flat fish or something like that, but a ray would be nice as well to start off the year on the ray count. Done really well last year. But yeah, I'll let you know. Alright guys, just had what's gonna be my last cast with my worm rod. Um, this has been so many white and it's just Pointless fishing really, unless you enjoy catching white, in which I don't know if I'm honest, unless I'm in a mat situation, but tonight we're not, so yeah, just in the Shimano Tegra 14,000. You sort of line layout on there, but to be fair. Um, Vega Masami Surf, only a cheap rod, but it's actually quite a nice rod to be fair. But it's not very, really, where it's got the hybrid tips, it's quite a light tip, so it's not very really good for when you've got the um, white in the mat, because they just spin up, tangle up, it really heavy, so yeah. Yeah, it's good, nice rod in the summer and stuff, or when you're flatty bashing. Nice rod. Yeah. Sorry, it ain't gonna be a good video, but I've just got to get one up for you, really. It's been a while. So, yeah, uh, hopefully, we get something in these last chucks. I'll show you whatever we get, probably, if I remember to. As I'm, all, I'm still new to all this video and stuff, so, yeah. Apologise for any wind noise or any other noises you hear tonight that like you don't really want to hear or whatever. But yeah, it's only recording on my phone. So it's never gonna be top quality stuff, but yeah. I'll let you know, cheers.